Learning medicine is hard work. Osmosis makes it easy. It takes your lectures and notes to create a personalized study plan with exclusive videos, practice questions, and flashcards, and so much more. Try it free today. Temporomandibular disorders are a group of disorders that all involve the temporomandibular joint, which is located between the temporal bone of the skull and the mandible, or jawbone, as well as the muscles and associated structures that are involved in chewing and speech. Normally between the temporal bone and the mandible is a synovial cavity, which is wrapped in fibrocartilage and filled with synovial fluid, which is a protein-rich fluid that reduces friction between the sliding bones. The synovial cavity is divided into an upper and lower compartment by an articular disc within the synovial fluid. The lower compartment is bound inferiorly by the condylar head of the mandible. The lower compartment allows the mandible to rotate, which lets the mouth open and close. The upper compartment is bound superiorly by two regions of the temporal bone, the mandibular fossa in the middle and back, and articular tubercle in the front. Separating these two compartments is the articular disc. The upper compartment allows the condylar head to move forward and rotate. The movements of the temporomandibular joint are coordinated by numerous muscles including the temporalis, which is a fan-shaped muscle on both sides of the cranium, the masseter, which connects to the mandible and the zygomatic arch of the temporal bone, the medial pterygoid, which connects to the mandible and medial aspects of the lateral pterygoid plate, and the lateral pterygoid, found at the condylar process. These muscles are innervated by branches of the trigeminal nerve. Now, the causes of temporomandibular disorders can be categorized as intraarticular, within the joint, or extraarticular, involving the surrounding musculature. Intraarticular causes are called temporomandibular joint disorders, and they include things like abnormalities of the bones in the joint, inflammation in the joint from conditions like osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis, disorders of the articular disc, laxity of the fibrocartilage, allowing for temporomandibular hyper or hypomobility, or trauma that might result in structural damage or bleeding inside the joint. Extraarticular causes are also called temporomandibular muscle disorders, and they include things like overuse of the masticatory muscles, like in bruxism, which is teeth grinding or jaw clenching, as well as chronic muscle spasms or muscle inflammation. The main symptom of temporomandibular joint disorder is pain or tenderness, especially with movement of the jaw, like when chewing. The pain can also radiate, causing headaches, toothaches, and earaches. It can also cause jaw dysfunction and limited range of jaw motion, where the jaw catches or locks in a certain position. There can also be clicking or popping noises when moving the jaw, as well as jaw deviations. Because of the various causes and types of temporomandibular disorders, a diagnosis requires keen observation, especially around factors that cause or worsen the problem. It's helpful to measure the range of jaw motion, listen for irregular sounds like clicking and popping, and feeling for areas of tenderness. Plain radiographs and CT scans can show structural abnormalities or trauma, and MRIs can show changes in the articular disc and evidence of joint inflammation. Treatment of temporomandibular disorder is based on the underlying cause, but the initial goal is to help reduce pain and restore normal jaw function. Pain can be reduced by applying moist heat or cold compresses, as well as using massage, resting the muscles by eating a softer diet, and avoiding strain on the jaw, like dental work or biting on objects. Physical therapy involving jaw exercises can help with pain and range of motion. Oral appliances like splints can reduce the effects of nocturnal bruxism, and cognitive behavior therapy can address behaviors and underlying psychiatric illnesses that worsen temporomandibular disorders. Medications like muscle relaxants and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs can also be used to help with pain control. In rare situations, arthroscopy can be done, which is when a small thin tube with a camera is placed into the joint space to help diagnose and treat the condition. Finally, in cases where there's a structural defect, surgery might be needed. Alright, as a quick recap. 
Temporomandibular disorders are a group of musculoskeletal disorders that result from dysfunction in the temporomandibular joint or masticatory muscles controlling the jaw. The result is jaw pain and tenderness. A key goal of treatment is to reduce pain, and this can be done with relaxation of the jaw, as well as managing underlying problems like bruxism with oral appliances and the use of pain medications. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in a deeper dive on this topic, take a look at osmosis.org where we have flashcards, questions, and other awesome tools to help you learn medicine.